Morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here today to review this. This is the Natural Moisturising Factors plus Phytoceramides. Um, I was intrigued by this because I have loved the NMF, the Natural Moisturising Factors, the kind of original one, for a couple of years now. I didn't like it. You may remember it was one that I didn't like when it first came out. I just found it... I found it quite bland, I suppose. I didn't, there wasn't anything that I particularly loved about it, but there wasn't anything I disliked about it. Um, but yeah, I've loved it in the last few years and used it quite often as a night cream. Um, so the fact that this one said it was plus phytoceramides, so it would be even more um, moisturising, really appealed to me because I do feel like I've got dry skin and particularly a dry neck. When I went to buy it, I was actually surprised at the price. It's £20, um, whereas the the normal one of the same size is £10. So it's double the price to get that those phytoceramides in there. But I thought I would try it out anyway. Um, you know, like I said, I'm always curious about new products like that. Um, and especially if they're promising to be hydrated. Let's see what it says actually. What does it say? The description they give is that it's the their most nourishing moisturiser formulated with nearly four times more moisturising emollients and two times more humectants than the original natural moisturising factors plus hyaluronic acid. Um, this rich and replenishing cream immediately boosts skin hydration by 68%, helps strengthen the skin barrier and offers all day hydration, making it ideal for dry skin. Um, triple action approach with the inclusion of skin identical natural moisturising factors, phytoceramides and skin lipids. Um, improves the look of skin quality for a fresher, more plumped appearance. So, um, like I said, I was excited to try this. I like the natural moisturising factors. Um, it's one that... It's just like a rich cream, the natural moisturising factors, but you put it on and it sinks in immediately. It doesn't feel greasy or tacky or like it's it's on the surface of the skin. It feels like it immediately gives you, you know, lovely feeling skin. So I used this as a night cream when I first got it. And the first thing I noticed was that it takes a long, long time to sink in. Um, it's not something that immediately sinks in at all. But I also noticed that it sank in quicker on my neck. And like I've said to you, my neck is is often quite dry. In fact, at the moment, it feels lovely. And I think it's because I've been using this. Um, there was one other cream that I found did that. And it was Urea. Do you remember? It was the Urea. I don't know whether it was the Inky List one or the... There's another one I got. Um, but you, I put Urea on my neck and thought, well, that actually seems to be keeping it moisturised. Because my neck normally feels dry an hour or so after putting anything on it. On my face, however, I just, I don't dislike the feeling and I actually, I used it last night on my face and neck. I just couldn't be bothered using a different one on my face. But if, I was going to say if I've just washed my hair, I would maybe be a bit more, I would maybe want to use something else. But it's not really that it sticks to your face, it's just that thought is there, if you know what I mean, because it doesn't completely sink in and you can, you know, like 10, 15 minutes later, you can touch your skin and still sort of move the moisturiser around, if that makes sense. Um, and so I don't mind that on my neck so much because um, it seems to sink in a little bit quicker and it just, it makes my skin feel so lovely and soft on my neck. I can't believe it actually. Um, and yeah, on my, on my face, I tend to want something that's just going to sink in a little bit quicker. Um, but I just tend to keep my hair off my face a bit more if I'm doing that. Like I said, it's not not like a lip gloss where it is sticking to my face. It's just, I feel like it might do, you know. Um, I just had a look um, to see if I could find some reviews about this and what people are thinking. And it seems to be that people love it and are saying it's very hydrating, whereas the other formula, people are calling it the old formula. I don't know whether they're doing away with the original one, but it certainly still is on sale. Um, you know, certainly still selling it. But people are saying that the other one wasn't moisturising enough for them, but this one is and that they love it. Um, and yet other people are saying they're not going to try it because of the price. Um, I think getting into the price issue is very complex and everybody has got an opinion and it would be hard to know what the truth is, you know, whether or not they, they need to do it at this price for a business reason or because of costs or whatever. It's just, I don't know. So it's just down to yourself as to whether or not you are prepared to pay. I definitely would have um, preferred it be around the 15, 16 pound mark. I wouldn't have been quite so, oh my God, it's 20 pound, you know. Um, but like I said, I don't know what their reasons are for that. However, this is one that I would definitely consider repurchasing, possibly as a neck cream. I'm gonna, you know, I haven't used it that much. I've used it for about the last week and a half to two weeks, something like that. Um, and I would definitely buy it for my neck if my neck was feeling particularly dry. And like I said, it's just, this has just been amazing for it. Um, and I, there's not many 
neck products that do that for me. I have tried the Niod ones. You know, there is the neck elastic. I don't know, there is one, there is a specific neck cream. Um, the hydration vaccine used to be very good for my neck, but it's very, very expensive. And so this is a lot less expensive than that. Um, so I'm definitely going to use it as mostly as a neck cream. So yeah, very mixed reviews on this. The people that have bought it seem to love it. Other people are not prepared to pay the £20 to, to buy it, which is maybe fair enough. It's a shame they don't do some sort of sampling, you know, or maybe a smaller travel size one because there isn't a 30 mil as far as I can see in this one whereas there is in the um the NMF this one is 100 mil whereas in the original one you can get it 100 mil or 30 mil um so it's a shame they don't do a 30 mil I would say that um that's everything for today I will list all of my makeup in the description I hope that you're all doing well and I will speak to you soon